Would you rather talk about Continental Championship Wrestling and the sale of such, or would you rather talk about uh, Roxy? Or we can talk about both if you like. Let's talk about Roxy a minute. Okay then, Andrew Elder. Hi Dutch and James, a long time fan from Memphis and your days here. In TNA at Sacrifice 2008, the makeover battle royal. The stories that the finish was going to be that no one was going to get their head shaved. Wonky finish, but Roxy volunteered to do it. Was it true that she did volunteer? Now, this is Roxy Laveau, isn't it? Also, the fans not knowing who booked it and loving Roxy started chanting, Fire Russo. Whose idea was this? And also, is it true that Dixie said the next segment that she heard a Fire Russo chant, she was going to fire the person in charge of the match that she heard that chant? You know, Dixie, she defies belief sometimes. People say they were reading the sheets. Of course, Meltzer, he hated Russo more than he hated me. And he would blast everything he did. Of course, we were blasting a lot of Russo stuff too. But <laughs> but she was going to fire the person that was in charge of the match. And it wasn't even their idea. It was Russo's idea or creative's idea. <laughs> but Dixie was going to fire them. And I've heard that on more than one occasion. I got blamed for uh, a fire Russo chant. They said it was my idea. It wasn't my idea. I think you asked me about it, about the Stairway yeah, to Heaven match. Yeah, it was that coffin thing that went up to the yeah, sky, wasn't it? Yeah. That wasn't my – I don't even know where that came from. But – but they started it, and they started it down in uh, the studio in Orlando at uh, Universal. Fire Russo. <laughs> Fire Russo. <laughs> but, but we're, we're talking about Roxy Laveau. We are. So the head shaving, did she volunteer? Yeah, I, I think she did. I don't, I don't know. What were the stipulations on the match? The loser – was going to get their head shaved. I think so. The makeover battle royals, the finish was going to be that no one was going to get their head shaved, supposedly. But then Roxy actually volunteered to do it. Well, she did it. And, uh, but the thing I remember the most about Roxy was she was tough as nails. So we had a girl there named. Raka Khan. That was her name, Raka Khan. And I gave her the name for some reason. I thought she looked like a Raka Khan. And she was with Steiner. He was wearing that crazy Roman headdress deal. And Raka Khan looked like a, seemed like an apt name for her. And I think people would remember the name Raka Khan. And I remember the legal counsel, <laughs> TNA, called me up one day. Oh, man, I don't know where they found this guy. But he had a southern accent as it worse than mine. He went, well, Dutch, you know that Rock of Con girls, you know, there's another person with that name. You know that, right? And I went, well, yeah, I know it. Well, we can't do that. I said, can't do what? Well, we can't have the same name this other person's got. I said, well, have they complained about it? Well, no. I said, well, we don't have a problem then. If they haven't complained, what's the problem? He said, but what if they do? I said, I don't know. I guess we'll deal with it when they do that. Of course, they never complain. I don't think they give a crap. But anyway, this Roxy girl and this Rocka Khan, and Rocka Khan was about 6'2". She was a big girl. And Rocka wanted to do some stuff with her, but this Rocka Khan girl didn't want to do it because apparently she had a friend in the back that was pretty well up in the company politically. And he advised her not to do those spots with this Roxy girl. But Rocka Khan didn't tell the Roxy girl that she was advised, but she said she just didn't want to do them. Well, I was watching the match, and Roxy said, if she don't do it, she said, I'm telling you right now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat the crap out of her. I said, oh, don't do that. No, I'm, I'm just telling you. 
went out there and rock a con put the 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 stop sign i'm not doing that well the next thing i know that roxy girl went off on her and knocked her down stopped on her in the head a couple times hard and then rock a con was a little more cooperative (laughs) (laughs) then she did the stuff but uh but I, and I told Rock, I said, Rock, you got to learn about politics. You can't just tell somebody you're just not going to do it, but you want them to do stuff for you. I know you're a big girl, but you got to have an agreement before you go out there. But if you, if you stop somebody else's, uh, what they want to do, then they have a right to basically stop yours. Now I said, usually that stuff is cleared up in the dressing room, but, and Rock and, and the girl, uh, Roxy, Roxy Laveau mm-hmm. from the from the song. She didn't get any trouble for it. She told me what was going on. I said, well, hope you don't do it, but we'll deal with it afterwards. <laughs> this, You know, that's not like in the knockouts vision, that's not the first time I've heard someone shoot or semi-shoot on someone because I interviewed Shelly Martinez uh, a while back, and she said that she was in a match with uh, Jackie, uh, I was going to say Jackie Wilson. Uh, yeah. uh, Jacqueline Moore, sorry. I can't remember her surname. Yeah. And she didn't know why, but she found herself in like a really uh, legitimate gu- guillotine, I think, at one point, and Jackie just stopped working with her. Do you remember that at all and why that happened? I, I, but but I do remember Jack, Jacqueline. Jacqueline, yeah. Was tougher than nails, too. And I could have told that. What's her name? Martinez. Shelly, yeah. Shelly Martinez. Don't piss her off. Because she's from Memphis and I knew her. And she's she's she will literally fist fight you. She'll fist fight a guy. And she had a lot of guts. Nobody messed with her. And if nobody smartened Shelly Martinez up, I don't think they need to now. But but I hate stuff like that to happen. But some of those girls, you never hear how tough they are. They were some tough girls out there. Really, really tough girls. 